Hello, and welcome to day five of coding every day until I get a job. So, in this video, um, we'll do some more of the Connect 4 uh, C++ uh, program and also carry on with the, um, the Python and uh, HTML JavaScript and CSS quiz app. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few um, small changes uh, for the input. So, actually, no, wait, we don't need to do that for input because. Uh, it's already here. Then we can do auto column equals. Then we do std abs to make sure we don't. Actually, no. We could just check. Um, if column is greater than zero and less than eight. Uh, so we'll just use column is greater than or equal to zero and uh, column is less than eight. Then we can continue. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Keep up my GitHub streak. Okay, sometimes a bit slow and. Uh, Processing the git, um, like, yeah, just presses the git in general. Okay, syncing so putting the current branch. So, actually, before this video, I set up the Visual Studio Code project to migrate our code from the online ID into the local one, which is much easier to run and debug and much, much more. Okay. So just thinking that, I'm also thinking that I'll just uh, try and there. There we go. So I'm going to return questions dot map, or I could just do questions dot map. I'll just copy paste questions dot map and paste it in here into our local this code project. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. Div, uh, so we've got the app. We can do questions dot map question. So now we can um, import uh, questions. I just copy the uh, include files. Uh, what's so we also need question. Uh, so question.js so first we need to create our question.js question.css and question.js okay um, import uh, wait I'm sure it made changes to this actually in the video we had like Passing in arguments. Oh, maybe I didn't save it. Okay, we'll just have to work with this. So we're going to import question. Oh, the uh, Gemini AI is just too good at the minute. So I'm going to need component slash component. We file. We'll call it question.js new file question dot css and questions dot I think that's uh, it questions okay now I'm just gonna copy paste the code across and then we can make some adjustments and improvements because at the minute, it's nothing much, it's just hard coded and don't have a back end or anything. So that's one of the learning objectives for this project is to actually um, yeah, add a back end with Django or Flask. Okay, so I'm going to copy paste this. And we didn't actually have any code in this one. I think we did, but then... 
Oh, sorry, this is CSS. Fishing.js. Wow, I'll just do Windows V and get the demo import. Um, Questions.css. Now I'll just move to the semicolons here. Uh, Question.css, and then we'll call base the CSS code. So, if you're new here, uh, what I'm trying to do is make a quiz app with a back end and front end with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste the CSS here. Okay, and then finally, our questions.js, which is uh, has our array of questions. So it's got a few capital cities for me. Um, remember, with React, we need like an ID to show that they're distinct, otherwise it gives us some warnings. Okay, I'm just going to see if we can do npm run this. We'll start rather. Oh, I haven't saved. Save all. This should... Load. Okay, I'll go back to Amtra.js and let's just do some work on questions. So we can do props dot. We can do h3. Um, yeah, Gemini's got it all to do. H3. Then we can do some text. Oh no, we're not doing text. We need to do an input uh, for Input text button submit. And we can do on flip equals um, check answer answer. Then we can create our function here. So function check answer. Then we can do a const. Um, so it could be the user input set user input use state. Uh, then just like that. Then to check the answer, return user input. Um, the thing is, I don't know why it's doing that because this will automatically equate for that. Okay. Like, is there a turn type? So can we do bool then? Okay, um, and then we can do value equals user input on change set user input. Okay, yeah. And then check answer submit uh, return. Next, so this is um, okay. Uh, we could either do Wait, what's the span thing? Ah, yeah. Check answer. We could do... Um, I've seen this um, analogy, so we have... Const. Uh, is correct, set is correct. Uh, but this would only be present if uh, if has submitted. I'll change this to has submitted uh, set has 
Honestly, it's like a 10x development. Developer, rather. For this. Uh, set has submitted. Has submitted. So we're going to do... Set has submitted. Is true. And then we can do... We'll close this in some brackets. Um, so we do has submitted and that nah, okay. So that should work in theory. And then by on change, this looks like it should work. I'll just format it, format document. Oh, multiple format configure. Prettier. Format document. Oh, that's changed dramatically. Okay, so that's question to JS, CSS. How can we just do control I? Generate CSS for this. <laughs> Gemini thinking. Okay, I'm not very good at styling for um, CSS. That's something I also should improve in. So how do I accept? Okay, accept that. Where's my arrows? I don't have an arrow. Ah. For some reason, it's grey and invisible. Okay. So, I'm just going to do file, save all. I don't know how this is connected to a Git repository. Maybe I did do it. Okay, my bad. Okay, so then... Okay, this should... Uh, oh, ports. Okay, it doesn't look like we've got something. Uh, let's see. If I do npm start when this terminal loads, we'll have a fast look. So, okay, npm start. I didn't really like React. I'm probably even saying this, but yeah, it just makes everything so nice. It'd be good if we had like a React for I'm going C. I think that would be quite cool. Oof, got a few errors. Uh, with uh, Jason. Okay, we'll come back to this in the next videos. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.